Let's go to the Melbourne draw for the men. Rafa's return is what I'm calling this. Uh, let's go now to the withdrawal list because there's a few players that have pulled out of this tournament. So the withdrawal list, there are three names that have pulled out of this one. We have Bublik, he's out of this event. Harris, also out. And Nishikori is also out of this event. So a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of familiar names not playing this event. It's an ATP 250 event as well. So remember that. Okay. All right, top of the draw. We've got eight seeds in this one. The top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Rafa Nadal, the return of Rafa. He's back, baby, and he gets a buy in the first round. Uh, he'll take on either a qualifier or Giron in the second round. So a good start for Rafa. Very good start. Then we've got Poprin versus Travaglia. Winner of that match takes on either Greek Sport or the number seven seed Kopfa in the second round. So Rafa, very favorable draw for him in this first part of the draw. He could definitely make the semifinals in that part of the draw. Then we got the number four seed Goffan getting a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Molkan versus Nick Kyrgios. Kyrgios is in the same half as Rafa. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so Goffan, tough second round if he plays uh, the king. Then we've got uh, O'Connell versus Thompson. Winner of that match takes on either Gasquet or the number six seed of Ashka in the second round. Very uh, interesting to see. We could be getting a Kyrgios versus Nadal semi-final. That could happen. That could happen. To get that in the first week of the season, by golly gosh. Anyways, bottom half of the draw, we've got the number eight seed McDonald taking on Goacek. Winner of that match takes on either Manorino or Van der Zanschup. So all the very tough names to say uh, are in this part of the draw. Then we've got Bagnus versus Murray. Winner of that match is going to take on Grigor Dimitrov, the number three seed who gets a buy in the first round. So Murray Dimitrov could be a second round matchup. Watch out for that. That could be fun. Then we've got Benoit Pair, the number five seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Munir or Anderson in the second round. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that qualifier battle gets to play Riley Opelka in the second round, who gets a buy in the first round because he's the number two seed. So obviously, we've got to watch out for someone like Opelka, Dimitrov, Murray. They're the guys I'm watching out for in the bottom half of the draw. But Rafa's back. This is Rafa's tournament. This is Rafa's return. This is what we've been waiting for. Who's going to win this tournament? I don't think Rafa's going to win. I don't think, even though I, I hope he plays a lot because I want to watch him next week, and I'm sure you do too, I don't think Rafa's going to win this tournament. I think it's going to be someone like Dimitrov or someone like Opelka. You know, in the hot Melbourne conditions, big serves, big ground strokes, they're going to work better than someone like Rafa who plays and needs time to, to hit shots. So I'm going with someone like even a Vashka. A Vashka with a big serve, big hitting. Don't be surprised if he does well. Of course, you got to watch out for Keegs. Nick Kyrgios in front of his uh, Australian crowd in the hot conditions. Watch out for Keegs. Let me know in the chat what you think. Uh, who's going to win this one?